the great value Fantastic Four, bombastic Batman. Batman. <laughs> Dude, you totally got something on your back. Get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at another Marvel Legends figure. It's the Target exclusive Bombastic Bagman on the Retro card, and this is actually a Grail figure for me, so I was super excited to get it, although I'm surprised it was a Target exclusive and not a Walgreens exclusive, because all the other Fantastic Four figures were, so yeah. Let's go ahead and jump in there and take a look at the packaging. So here we have the Bombastic Bagman in the packaging, and it's the classic vintage look. Of course, we've got the figure. This is what a figure should be in the plastic. We get some accessories. Um, looks great. Love this artwork, like an old Secret Wars figure or a Spider-Man the Animated Series figure, I guess is more like it. The, the Toy Biz style is what this is after. Very cool, very nice. Back of the package here, we've got the Bombastic Bagman, a little tiny write-up, so love that artwork. Got a write-up right there, so just kind of a close-up. If you want to pause and read this, uh, you are more than welcome to. And then here's a look at the artwork. Very nice, very cool. And that's really about it for the packaging. Let's get this guy out of box and see what we think. So here we have the Bombastic Bagman out of package, and this looks fantastic. I've been waiting for this for years. Love this guy, love the look. If you don't know what this incarnation of Spider-Man is, he basically lost his uniform, was at the Baxter building, borrowed one of uh, the Human Torch's uniforms to get back to his place, but had to put a bag over his face so people would not know who he was. Just a fantastic figure, absolutely love it. And uh, he does come with some alternate hands. He comes with the fisty hands, but uh, I put the spread out fingers because that's the panels that he had this on. It was a very small part of the comic too, so uh, it's fantastic to get this, uh, no pun intended. But uh, articulation, uh, well first of all, there's the kick me sign. So this just plugs into the back. It does fall out pretty easy, so be aware of that, but it looks really good. And you can kind of put it however you want to on his back. So that's very cool, I like that. Um, our, the bag even has the folds on the top, which is great. Looks gorgeous, rolls around um, on the top there, which is nice. He's got an ab crunch that leans forward, and then it doesn't lean back too terribly much. Uh, no butterfly joints, which is disappointing. Um, arms move up and down and around at the uh, socket there. We get uh, a double jointed elbow and some bicep swivels. Uh, very stiff joints by the way on this hands do rotate there is a hinge joint as well we got a twist at the waist legs kick up that far forward and then they don't go back hardly at all which is a shame they do splay out pretty decently and uh, there is a twist at the upper thigh again very tight um, and then the knee joint again very very tight on this particular figure um, we do have a hinge joint at the feet right there, and he's got that crazy ankle rocker pivot we love! With this being his widest possible stance, with both feet still flat on the floor. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, sculpted amazing. I love the bag, the eyes painted in, the Fantastic Four costume. Unfortunately, they missed the mark on just putting a Peter Parker head and then sculpting the bag to fit over it because this is actually a head molded into the bag uh, when you cannot remove it, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but uh, it looks gorgeous and it moves around great. It's painted well. It's just a really great looking figure. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure, it looks good. I love the kick me sign, that's fantastic. It looks like a Fantastic Four uniform. The drawback is, and they dropped the ball here, they did not use a Spider-Man body. It doesn't have butterfly joints, and the legs just don't have the same range a Spider-Man figure does, and that's a bit of a miss. I love the look, but this is a totally reuse mold. They 
should have used a Spider-Man and painted it blue. And then finally, take a look at the legs of the figure. He's got these bare feet, uh, which are essentially the Iceman feet, I believe, uh, which works well. It looks good. It's painted well. They got the little blue um, under anklet thingy <laughs> to keep his spandex on uh, painted there, which is very, very nice. And uh, yeah, I mean, this works really, really well for Bombastic Bagman. For comparison, Here we have the Target exclusive Bombastic Bagman next to another Target exclusive, the Iron Spider. Both of these look great up on the shelf, or should I say fantastic, on the shelf. Just absolutely love the fact that we got this figure. It's been a grail of mine for years. Super appreciative to see a figure that only had like a couple panels in an old, uh, what was it, late 80s comic. Uh, definitely nice to see they did it, did it justice. Uh, I mean, just look how well it stands next to another beautifully done figure. So is the Target exclusive Bombastic Bagman from Marvel Legends something that you want in your Spider-Man or Marvel collection? Absolutely yes. Uh, if you're an exclusive fan, this is something you're going to want. Uh, if you're a Bombastic Bagman fan like me, this is definitely a must-have Holy Grail figure. The last time we saw this was in the little tiny Marvel Legends scale uh, years ago, and I think it was a... I want to say it was a Toys R Us exclusive, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Now, there are two minor things that I've griped about before in this video previously, and one is they missed out on just using a Peter Parker head sculpt and then sculpt the bag so it just sits over his head so you could actually take it off. Uh, and that's a minor gripe. They did a great job with the head we got, but I would have liked to have been able to take that uh, bag off. But I guess you could just swap it out with a regular Peter Parker head. The other bigger issue is they did not use a Spider-Man body mold. Uh, so we don't get the butterfly joints and the more bendy legs. And that is a bit of a disappointment in posing. But those are the only two gripes I got. I love this guy. And there he is, the bombastic bag man. Thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.